And I wonder where you fall down on this uh, on this rotation trade that seems to be so much the story of 2021. Do you think the rotation still has legs, the rotation away from tech, despite what we saw yesterday? Hello, Anna. It's a pleasure to be here. Good morning. Um, the short answer is yes. Uh, there is still momentum on the rotation and we should expect it to, to continue. But we do think it will ultimately be short-lived and the longer-term trends will assert themselves. And so actually, we at Quintet, structurally, we like tech. You like tech. So that's interesting because I, I wonder if we're in danger of being too binary about it, about these things. When I ask these questions, I ask, you know, do you like tech or do you not like tech? Do you believe in the rotation out of tech, into cyclicals, into value? And I wonder if the, the end result might be somewhere in between, Carolina. How do you look at that sort of continuum of outcomes from here? Yes, I, I, I think you spot them actually in what you're saying. The, my, my answer was uh, binary, uh, as you rightly point out, and markets are very seldom binary. So the way we like to, to position our portfolios as a result is to not be too exposed to one or the other call. Uh, timing these rotations is notoriously difficult to do in the short term, and rather think around how can you build a portfolio such that you have some exposure to what you believe in, but still allow for the possibility that other uh, currents might assert themselves in the market. And so an example I would give is that we are actually overweight U.S. equities, which has a clear uh, overweight to tech, but also has exposure to other interesting sectors. Yeah, that's interesting. So are you not put off by valuations in the tech sector then, Carolina? Because for some, that would be the reason that they'd say stay away from U.S. right now and, and look elsewhere. The short answer is no, we are not. We, of course, acknowledge valuations are very high, but we like to look at them in the context of uh, very low interest rates as well. And that goes a long way towards, uh, in my view, uh, explaining why these valuations can actually be sustained. And then if you combine with that a uh, very positive outlook for growth in the US, we saw the OECD numbers yesterday, we, we subscribe to, to that dynamic, we see positive earnings growth coming through, and, uh, and we think that ultimately will be positive. For, for U.S. equities as a whole.